In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and program this Intiset 4 device remote control. I'm gonna show you how to put some codes in there for your devices. I'm also gonna show you how to teach the remote using another remote. And I'm also gonna show you how to set up some macros so that you can power your devices on and off together. I'm gonna to make it real easy for you. This is Rudy from Take A Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. So just real quick, I wanted to touch on the batteries. This remote does take two AA batteries. Also, sometimes when a remote has marginal batteries, it won't program correctly. So if your remote is acting a little bit finicky, you might want to try fresh batteries. Also, this red LED will flash about five times when the batteries are getting really low. Moving on to the programming, I'm going to cover two of the three different ways to program this remote. The direct code entry and learning from another remote. Now the auto code search is the third way and it's covered in the manual. Let's start with direct code entry, okay? You'll need to consult universalremotes.net to look up the codes for your devices. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can see it from there. I'm going to enter in an LG TV and a Bose soundbar in this example. All right, press the device button that you wanna use. In this example, I'm gonna put the TV on A. Now press the set button till the light blinks twice. Okay, now enter the first five digit codes from the database. In my case, it's 11840. That's for my LG TV. You're going to want to test this code. I'll explain more about that in a minute. To do the other devices is exactly the same way. You're just going to use a different device number or letter. So I'm going to put the sound bar on B. So press B, which I did. Press set until the light blinks twice. And same as before, enter the first five digit code, 33708. Now that's for my Bose. Now you can program any device to any device button, but as you can see, the device uh, buttons are only labeled A, B, C, and D, so they're not very intuitive if you forget which device you put on which button. So you can use the included stickers right here in case you forget which device button you programmed which device for. Okay, now more about testing the code. Some codes will only partially work or they won't work at all. You'll want to test the functionality of your code, power, volume, menu, etc. If you get one that's not working power or it is working power, but not input or menu, for example, try the next code. You'll want to keep testing this until you've found one that works to your satisfaction or until you've exhausted all the codes. You can also try the auto code search that's covered in the manual. Now, if neither one of those two work, luckily this is a learning remote. So if you have your original remote, you can teach any functions that are missing in that way. For example, as you can see here, this remote doesn't have buttons for shortcuts for your smart TV, like Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, etc. You can teach those functions using your original remote to any blank or unused buttons. Let me show you how. Now you can teach any of the buttons on the Intiset remotes except for the device buttons A through D, set, and also record. Those buttons are not teachable. Don't let more than 10 seconds elapse without any button presses or the remote will just exit learning mode and you'll have to start over. Your original remote must be an IR type, meaning infrared. If you have an RF type remote, this is not going to work at all. Okay, place the two remotes head to head on a flat surface like I've got here. They should be within about two inches of each other. On the Intiset remote, press the device button that you want to teach to. So in this case, I'm going to use A, the TV button, so that I can teach the Netflix button. All right, press and hold the set button again. Enter 975. All right, press the button that you want to teach to on the Intiset remote. I'm going to use the red colored button for the Netflix and press the corresponding button on the other remote. As you can see, I got some flashes there and the remote stopped flashing. 
Now it looks like the remote exits learning mode after programming one button, so you'll have to repeat this step for more buttons that you want to teach. You can also remove learn buttons, and that's covered in the manual. Next I want to cover the volume lock. Now by default this remote has an independent volume control for each device button, but you might want to lock the volume to one device. In my case I want to lock the volume to the sound bar that I entered earlier on the B button. Okay, so press the set button again until the light blinks twice. Enter 993. We should blink twice. Press the device button that you want to lock the volume to. So in my case, it's B. Now the volume is locked to the B device. So no matter which uh, device button you have selected, the volume is always going to default to whatever device is programmed under B, which is my sound bar. Okay, now to remove the volume lock, press set. Enter 993, and then press volume up. So there are a few other things that this remote will do, but I'm only going to cover one more thing, and that is the macros. I do get this question quite a bit, and that some of y'all want to press power once and have everything come on at the same time. That's a pretty good feature. Many remotes won't do this, but this one actually does. You can program any button that you want to, except for the set button, to execute up to 32 commands or instructions. Now I do recommend using the device mode dependent macro so that you can use the power button to turn on multiple devices. Now if they happen to get out of sync, you can choose another device button and still be able to control the on off without setting the macro, setting off the macro again. All right, in my example, I'm going to use the A device button, which is set to the TV, to turn off both the sound bar and the TV together. Press the device button that you want to program a macro to, so I'm going to press A. Press the set button until you get two flashes. And then enter 9, 7, 8. The LED should blink twice. Now press the button that you want to assign the macro to, so I want to assign it to power and then enter the series of commands that you want the button to execute. So I just want A, power, B, power. All right, now press and hold the set button to store the commands. Okay, so now when I press the power under my A device button, it'll turn on both the TV and the sound bar together. I can still turn off B or the sound bar in case they get out of sync by just pressing B and power. Okay, you can also program in a global macro that's not dependent on which device button is selected, and that procedure is covered in the manual. You can also program other buttons to do other things in addition to just a power sequence using this very same procedure. Okay, last but not least, if you feel that you've just messed everything up and you want to start over, you can do a factory reset. Okay, press and hold the set button until you get the two flashes and enter 977. That's it, it's back to factory. I hope you've gotten some value out of this video. Thanks for watching.